Hi everybody, I hope you had a good weekend. Today I have the exponential function for you. And the first part, I just have three important forms of it. e to the x, what happens if you put a negative in front of the x, and then if you keep the negative sign there but square x, what happens and you get the famous curve, bell-shaped curve for probability and statistics. So the students can just use the radio buttons here and look at the different curves and try to reason perhaps why they have these shapes. You know, uh, as x gets larger, why does e to the negative x approach zero and so forth. Down here I zero in on the bell-shaped curve because it's so important in statistics. And what the students can do there is they can adjust the sliders. So here this slider uh, adds or subtracts something directly to x and they can see that that shifts the curve back and forth. And down here, let's put this back to one or zero. Down here, they're dividing x by a small number or a large number, and they can see what happens. So if it's a large number, the curve is very wide. If it's a small number, the curve is very thin. And this is not ex exactly the, the uh, density of a normal distribution because there's some constants missing but essentially you know what's happening here is is uh, what happens when you adjust the mean right the mean shifts the curve back and forth and when you adjust the standard deviation it changes the size or the width of the curve